And now I'd like to welcome on stage Minister for International Development from the ne Netherlands, Sigrid Kech. Thank you very much. Um, I'm delighted to be here, and of course, I'd like to reiterate the thanks already expressed to the co hosts, but also Kenya, Mali, Niger, um, and for getting us together at this important event. Um, the countdown to 2030 has started, and actually, we only have 11 and a half and 12 years to go. We sometimes beguile ourselves thinking we've got another 15, but the clock is ticking, and I suggest we start to put down the dates and do reverse engineering and count and count and count because time is not on our side. We ought to have a sense of urgency, and with that sense of urgency, I'm very pleased to confirm what was long expected, um, and it's not yet Christmas, but confirm that the Netherlands is firmly back in the field of education. It was a gap in our policy. It was the omission in our engagement as a long-standing partner for women's rights, girls' rights. We've done a lot, but education was the missing link. It's back. And through the Global Partnership for Education, we're happy to commit 100 million euros for the coming uh, few years to invest in education. <laughs> Equally so, we will partner with Education Cannot Wait, and we've already committed another 50 million euros to them for the coming few years. We're looking at the spectrum crisis, fragility, children that are marginalized to have access to exercise their rights. I will not reiterate what was so beautifully said by our leaders here on stage, but I think it's important that we look at education as an asset, as, as was said, as an economic value, but above all, as the ultimate means of empowerment and self-fulfillment of every woman and girl, respective, irrespective of the conditions of birth. This is the way to transcend where you are born to travel the journey of who you want to be. Education is something that no one can take away, and it's up to you to create it, provided the enabling environment and conditions are there. Last but not least, we will also team up with universities, with vocational training centers, to create space for girls to make it to the labor market, because we know that statistically, OECD countries and developing countries, girls, if they're educated, they're top of class, Always the best mark. And what happens when they graduate? No jobs, no support system. So we want to match our support for education with access to the labor market, vocational training, sponsorships, scholarships, also to the Netherlands, but also exchanges with Dutch universities because it's a cycle and it's a cycle of life. And I'm very humbled but extremely proud that the Kingdom of the Netherlands is committed one more time to education with a big capital FAT-E. Thank you.